Hello, this is Ghostbit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. So today guys we're going to be putting our PCU on this um, motherboard right here and this is a Z170E motherboard from ASUS. So first off you need your, very important, your PCU. Um, I'm using a Pentium uh, Intel Core processor right here. And this is a LG1151, uh, fits right into the slot right here. So first thing I like to do, I like to actually remove this portion, this plastic portion from the motherboard. So easy way to do is actually find this lever right here. You want to push down and lift away from the PCU slot. Some people, I mean, most of the time you can keep this in there, but... Um, I like to pull it out prior. So you can keep it in there and it pops out on its own, but I like to do that. And then most important thing on these boards is locate the triangle. So there's a triangle on the uh, motherboard itself right there. That's, get, that's gonna indicate where your triangle on your CPU is gonna go, okay? So let's go ahead and open this CPU up. And keep in mind this CPU was used, so we're gonna have to reapply some thermal paste. So the fan's going to be right there, CPU's going to be right on top, open the top of your box up and grab that bad boy out. This was my $30 used Intel Pantheon processor, and look at that triangle, you can see it right there at the bottom, okay, right there. So you want to make sure that lines up with the triangle on the motherboard. So let's open it up. Looks pretty good for a used GPU. I mean a CPU, sorry. Beautiful guys, $30, very good for mining. It's all you really need. Look at the back of that, crystal clear, nice. So let's look at our fan. I wanna see if there's any uh, thermal paste already on the fan. Cause these come with a uh, thermal paste on them. Yeah, th it's not on there anymore. So we're gonna have to reapply the thermal paste. You see that, there's nothing on there. So I'm using Thermaltake TG7 uh, thermal paste for my mining rig. Um, this is really good for gaming rigs uh, also because you can actually overclock your cards. There is a diamond powder inside the thermal to help with thermal uh, conductivity. So that's going to help actually dissipate the heat away from your CPU and into your heat sink on your fan right there. So that's going to be pretty good stuff. Other thing you want to do is look at these, um, before you install the fan, you see these little arrows right here. You want to turn them to where they're facing inwards. Okay. Turn them to where they're facing inwards. It's going to help a lot with the installation. You don't want them all opposite because then it's going to go all wacko when you try to install it. And then just make sure your, your um, CPU fan wire is not in the fan like that because when you start it, it's not going to be beautiful. Now you want to locate the CPU um, connector on your motherboard. With a lot of these uh, gaming motherboards, especially the Z170 uh, edition on ASUS, there's going to be a water pump also. So this is going to find, let's go ahead and find it, um, looking for a CPU fan connector. Okay, looking, looking, looking. So it's right here, it says CPU fan, and it's a four pin connector. Very easy to find, okay? It's right there, CPU fan connector. It's a little gray outline. And keep in mind, this is a Z170E. So this is a, the cheaper one, missing some bells and whistles, but it still works pretty well. And you don't put the spreader on here, you're gonna be putting it on the CPU. Remember, when you're dealing with a motherboard, watch out with static. If you're on a copper like I am, make sure to touch something hard and metal and big before touching your motherboard. I don't have an anti-static bracelet on, so I'm gonna touch my, have a power supply right here, I'm gonna to touch that. We're gonna grab the CPU from the protective case. Make sure not to touch any of the backside, okay? Like I said before, look for that triangle, open this up right here, place it in. What I like to do when I place it in, I like to wiggle it a little bit. I'm not pressing down, I'm just wiggling it, okay? You're going to put back on 
the CPU little uh, spread uh, CPU metal part right here. You're gonna push down on it nice and steady. You're gonna apply a little bit of force, push out, and push in. So that's all you need to do right there to install it. It's gonna be kind of scary, especially if it's your first uh, CPU installation, because it takes a little bit of force. But just make sure that the triangles are aligned. So we're pretty good right there. And if you hear any crackling and popping, you probably broke some pins. So you just want to, you know, hear nothing at all when you push it down. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little plastic part off right here. I'll just rip it off. That's fine. Pull it out. Get my CPU juices on. Twist this off, this little syringe right here. And we're gonna apply just a rice size portion of this heat, pay, uh, this um, thermal grease right here, right in the middle. Just a, a rice amount. Let me make sure I can get some out. Oh, there we go. So I'm just gonna take this off of my finger right here. And just a little bit right in the middle. About a, a rice size, okay? Or a pea size, you can say. Um, some people like to spread it out with the spreading tool. Um, we don't have to do that. I don't want to get all fancy on y'all. Oh, uh, this is not a gaming rig, so we're not really going to be using the. Uh, we're not going to overclock the CPU at all. So that's good like that. When you push your um, fan on there, it's going to dissipate the paste around the heat sink on the fan. So, like I said, make sure these are all these little arrows are facing inwards. And I'm using my, I'm using, I'm doing it outside of the rig. I'm using my box that came in, okay? So you kind of line it up first. And you're just going to press down. You're going to hear a little click on each one of these. Oh. Okay. So it's already in. You heard the click. The way to make sure that it's in all the way, guys, I got some grease on my fingers. I want to put that on the back of the motherboard. Is um, you can always lift the board up. You can turn it around, and you want to see that the black portion in the middle of the fan is proportionally even to the white um, plastic portion of the fan to make sure it's in there properly. So that is in there properly. Okay. So now we're going to go in and put our fan on like so. Nice and easy, you don't go crazy. Boom. So that's how you install, right there, that's how you install an Intel LG1151 CPU to a Z170 motherboard. Pretty easy, guys. So this is the first part, part one of the mining rig build. All we need is to install some RAM. I'll do a short video on how to install RAM, and then I'll do pretty much the full installation once I do the once I get the GPUs over here so that's step one guys thank you we'll see you soon